Hello, I'm Murray Newlands. Welcome to another episode of Performance Marketing Insider TV. Today, I'm speaking with Dan Moja from Brightroll. Dan, what do you guys do? Brightroll is the leading video platform for the advertising industry. We are the largest in the space right now in terms of video advertising. Uh, Comscore rankings just came out uh, for October and we hit 153 million unique users, which is half of the population of the United States. Congratulations. And the number one, number one video network in the, in the United States. Uh, we operate a network, so we sell direct to agencies, and we also operate an exchange and allow programmatic buyers to come in and buy video um, on, in our self-service platform. And what do you do for the company? I am the general manager of the Brightroll Exchange. So I oversee all of our inventory partners, bring on new video inventory, as well as manage all of the buyers on the Brightroll Exchange. So what are your tips for media buying? Well. For video, we like to think of, we're trying to make video as similar to display buying as possible. So the tips are know what your goals are up front. If you're trying to target uh, a certain click through rate, or if you're trying to target a certain complete rate in the video world, it's very important what the complete rate is of the video. How many, what percentage of the users actually watch the video all the way through. Uh, if you're trying to force some sort of action, a purchase, or some other thing, Know that up front and set the goals really clearly up front and anybody like Brightroll will be able to help you achieve your goals um, as long as you're clear uh, up front and, and really set it up and target it um, from the outset. So what changes has real-time bidding, program marketing buying, what does that actually change? How's that uh, affected people's advertising uh, goals? And what does that mean for the future of uh, buying media on video? So real-time bidding has brought in a lot of buyers that have been used to buying display into right. video because now you can buy video using real-time bidding. So for every impression that's out there, buyers are now able to analyze that impression, see what user it is, see what they did previously on other websites that they may have seen, um, and decide what they want to bid for that particular impression and decide that they want to get a 15 second or a 30 second video in front of that that user. So it's really opened up uh, video to a whole new set of buyers that were previously really focused on display advertising. They can use their own first party data, they can use third party data like from Blue Kai or Exalate. Um, and so it's just opened up a whole new avenue and made it easier for existing buyers to now be more efficient with their buys. They're, uh, they're, they're buying the exact users they want and so there's not a lot of loss that they have when they actually do a media buy. They can target uh, much more specifically now with real-time bidding. And what are your predictions for 2013? How are things going to evolve? Well, I think the number one prediction for us is that real-time bidding will continue to increase up as a percentage of our buys uh, that we see on the platform. Uh, it's gone from almost nothing in 2011. It started to, to really take off here in 2012, and we think 2013, we see no reason why it won't be over 50% of all the buys on our platform are leveraging a buyer's real-time bidding, you know, their own algorithms and so forth. So that's, that's number one, is that real-time bidding is going to be huge. Number two is that we see the growth of mobile and other alternative ways to consume video taking up a bigger share of our impressions as well. So mobile, uh, tablet, connected TV, all of these new forms of video consumption are going to take up uh, more and more of the impressions that we see and you know we see no reason why that non you know PC web impressions will be over 50 percent of uh, video consumed by the end of 2013 as well. Obviously you don't have cookies on, uh, on, on mobile. How no. are you overcoming that and with the growth, growth of uh, real-time bidding you would think you would see that as pushing the envelope. But how is that going to work with mobile? Yeah, there's going to be alternatives. You, you don't have cookies on mobile. Um, so there's a set of alternatives that, um, that we use. Basically, with each ad request that comes to us, um, we have our publisher partners pass a set of parameters. And it's not always the same, but there's a list of 10 or so parameters that we would like them to pass. 
Uh, that could be things as simple as IP address, where that user is at that given time. Could be things more complicated like a digital fingerprint type of thing, like at Apple's recently come out with advertising ID, for example. Yep. That's one of, it's a kind of a perishable ID for each user. That's the kind of thing that we think will be a cookie, uh, you know, sort of a, a cookie out, an analog that we can use. Um, and you know, we're also seeing some publishers pack Mac, pass MAC address, that's a media yep. access code. Um, that's a, something that, that also can work uh, as long as it's hashed and so forth. So we're really open to whatever um, it is that the publisher's comfortable with, and we want to make sure that everything stays within sort of privacy rules and regulations. But at the same time, we do want to be able to pass information to our buyers to make that real-time bidding actionable and make it really as similar to web as possible, even without in, in a world where, there, where there's not going to be cookies. If people want to connect with you and work with you, how do they do that? Uh, the best way is to just send me an email, uh, dmosher at brightroll.com, D-M-O-S-H-E-R at brightroll.com. And anybody who's interested in buying video uh, should come work with the leader. Dan, thank you very much. Have a great day. Thanks. I'm Murray Newlands. You're watching Performance Marketing Insider TV. I'll see you next time.